सब्सक्राइब कीजिए हमारे चैनल को और बेल आइकॉन को दबाइए हमारी लेटेस्ट वीडियो सबसे पहले देखने के लिए हेलो माय नेम इज संजय श्रीवास्तव एंड शी इज माय वाइफ मिसेस बानी श्रीवास्तव वी रिसाइड इन गुरगांव सेक्टर 54 एंड वी हैड बीन कंसल्टिंग डॉक्टर मनीष प्रकाश फॉर पास्ट मेनी इयर्स दिस टाइम Uh, we had come to consult him for uh, the ear infection left ear infection of my wife which had not been subsiding for even though treatment had been going on by another doctor for more than 2 or 3 weeks and we came here and consulted dr manish prakash as to what is the next step to be done because uh, infection was still persisting although we had uh, got the ct scan done before and there were issues shown like tissue formation in the middle ear but we were not very sure as to what is the next step whether it's going to be surgery or it's going to be normal medication so we came here for expert consultation by dr manish and uh, he advised us that uh, surgery is the only option because uh, tissues which have been formed could also if not if not uh, treated now could also lead to damaging of vital organs like maybe damaging the brain cells in due course of time or possibly maybe complete loss of hearing etc so we proceeded from there and then uh, certain tests were done one was audiometry test to really check the hearing loss and it was uh, coming to a level of about 50% in terms of hearing loss and uh, besides that uh, then we then the samples were sent for uh, pus culture evaluation and then results came in afterwards that and then we finally decided let's go for the surgery because uh, uh, we should correct it now because this kind of Uh, problem had been occurring from time and again in the past so this was now the step which you should take now otherwise could have been damaging uh, to a large extent in due course of time so we decided with that one and then then we fixed up a date for uh, surgery here at mayom hospital and uh, then we came here on 8th of uh, november to conduct pre surgical test which included uh, blood test then also x ray of the chest and uh, i think one or two more tests which were conducted and we fixed date for 11th of november for the surgery so on 11th of november we came here uh, as suggested around uh, 8 am in the morning and immediately within half an hour we were given the room here which was quite uh, comfortable and immediately i think after that uh, within half an hour the first lady doctor was here she uh, she checked all the reports and then uh, also uh, then maybe had gone for the next level of consultation with the doctor and i think around uh, 10 am uh, my wife was shifted to the uh, ot operation theater and uh, she was there in the pre ot for about i think half an hour and then she went for a uh, surgery although i had been waiting outside for for some time and uh, it was expected that possibly as based on the ct scan report this, this should be a, a minor surgery but uh, Uh, i think it uh, went on for quite some time and then finally at 115 my dr manish came out of the operation theater and then he explained to me that uh, uh, situation inside the ear was uh, much worse than what was uh, visible in the ct scan and uh, then, I, then he explained that besides tissue formation there had been a lot of calcium formation across uh, various bones in the middle ear and which was uh, which was i think for, we were fortunate that we it was detected at well in time and then he explained that uh, it has taken a lot of time using micro surgical methods to clear the calcium deposits and now everything looks fine and uh, we need to wait and watch for some some more time and then see how the response is coming in and i think for, after that uh, for approximately 2 hours she was kept in the post ot observation room i also went there and checked her twice or thrice she was perfectly all right and uh, she was given good nursing care there so i was very much happy then uh, around 5 or 5 pm uh, she was shifted to the ward and gradually i think by 6 6 pm or i think 6:30 or so pm she was coming back to the normal i would say in terms of uh, uh, opening of the eyes and little bit uh, signed hearing hearing uh, going or not not going So, so I think this was coming to normal, and then I think she was started with a liquid diet afterwards, and uh, she was responding very well. Then late in the evening, also uh, doctor came, uh, uh, and he also inquired about. Uh, then he also 
took uh, full care in terms of uh, finding out the reactions, in terms of uh, how the eye movements are taking place, how the gestures uh, he is uh, saying, that how, how the patient is responding. So I think it was going on very well and uh, next day also in the morning Dr. Manish came, then afterwards another doctor came. So I think it was uh, very good care which was being taken care of from step by step and also from time to time. So progress was going on very well, so we were very happy and also we, uh, we were, uh, we were uh, taken good care by the support staff here including the nursing station staff as well as uh, the uh, support staff from cleaning who are responsible for cleaning etc. So it was a very good experience here and finally today we are in the position to go back and uh, with, with uh, smiling faces and it looks that uh, I think the uh, decision was good and uh, the surgery went on very well and even post operative care had been very good and now we will be in touch with the hospital again maybe for about uh, one week or two, two weeks to see how the things are uh, progressing and then uh, uh, finally maybe after a week the stitch may be removed and then uh, maybe th uh, two three weeks down the line she will be back to the completely normal life. So I think overall the experience was very good in terms of doctor, doctor's uh, decision, in terms of uh, uh, identification of the problem and also surgery, post-surgery and I think uh, in-house care also everything was very very uh, good for us. So all thumbs up for the Mayum Hospital. <laughs>